Hello there everyone. In this video, we'll study the shape and orientation of DZ square orbital. We'll use the x, y, z coordinates as shown. And we'll take a particular case of 3D Z square. Because we have learned that while solving Schrodinger wave equation, both radial and angular parts must be considered. There are two conical nodes in DZ square as shown. Each cone represents an angle, thus the two angular nodes. So this is our nodal plane for the DZ square, actually 3DZ square orbital. The probability of electron being here, that is on the nodal plane will be zero. So where will the electron be? Allow me to make an attempt to represent it by clouds. And the answer is almost everywhere else. This cloud represents the possibility of electron being at a specific position. Let's take a look at what's going on at the nodes, our nodal planes. And we can see the probability of electron existing at these conical planes is zero. Now if we want to represent a complete picture of where an electron is in terms of probability, we will need the entire picture till infinity. But that is not necessary. Merely the region containing 90% of the likelihood will suffice. And for 3dz square, this is the result. So there we have it. The donut and dumbbell shape of dz square. And since the angular wave function is independent of principal quantum number, 4dz square, 5dz square and so on will have similar probability distribution for the angular part of the wave function. Check out the orbital shape and orientation of dxy, dyz, dxz and dx square minus y square on our channel as well as our lecture in Hindi for an in-depth explanation. Goodbye and take care.